What's up to the YouTube universe? Welcome back to my channel. You are now tuned into Rome's world. If you are new here, please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because you're gonna wanna see my face again. I already know that, you already know that, so let's make that happen. If you are returning to my channel, welcome back. Happy to have you. Take a seat. Good to see you. Now let's get into it. So it is college season. Well, it's always college season. Kind of. A new academic year is coming up very, very soon and deadlines are rapidly approaching. At this point, two years ago, I was thinking about how I was going to be getting into grad school and if I would be going to grad school, things of that nature. And that was a process for me. And when I think about my process and how I had people helping me through it, I kind of wanted to return the favor back to you guys. So I'm going to give you guys my tips and kind of tell you a little bit about how I got into grad school. So hopefully you can get into your dream school. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Now, before I get into it, let me say this. What works for me might not work for you. How my university operates, your dream school might not do that for you or might not operate the same way. And I applied in the middle of a pandemic. Different rules. There was practically no rules. There's no rules! Put your shirt back on! There's one rule! So, life's different. But we're going to get into it. All right? My number one tip is to get organized. This book here helped me stay organized. Every dream school or program I wanted to get into is written down in this notebook with GPA requirements, test score requirements, locations, all this other stuff, the cost of it, everything that's important to know when applying to a program. Write it down, do your comparisons, do your pros and cons. But it helped me stay organized and helped me stay focused. The best way for me to stay organized also was that I set up meetings with my supervisors. I met with them weekly. We talked about what grad school would be like, what my career goals are like, how to get in, deadlines, all about test taking, GRE, MAT, all of that stuff. And having someone who's gone through the experience kind of helped me understand that it's not impossible. Having those weekly meetings really helped me stay organized and on top of my stuff, as well as writing things down in this journal. So my number one tip to you guys is to get organized. Next, if you are stuck between programs, do your research. Research your programs. Look at what one school offers. Look at the career benefits. Look at the faculty, the staff. Look at the classes that you'll be taking. Most of them offer a program of study. Look at what you're going to be learning. See how it pertains to you and your goals, if it helps you. If it doesn't, it might not be the right fit for you or that might not be the right school for you. So research your programs. Number three, pay attention to deadlines. Do your FAFSA early and on time, which reminds me I need to do that. If God don't do it, it won't get done. Pay attention to when schools need those test scores, when they need those transcripts. Pay attention to all of that. Get that stuff in early so that you can get your application in early and you don't have to worry about none of that. Once it's out of your hands, you won't have to worry about it and all you're waiting for is an acceptance letter. So I know that was kind of like a quick version, quick three chip. That was like a quick three tip version on how to get into grad school or tips to get into grad school. I have more advice to share and it kind of would require another video. So let me know if you guys are interested in hearing more about those tips. 
Um, I did change my program. I'm no longer in clinical mental health counseling. I am now in social work. So, you know, I have a little bit of things to, I can advise you on what to look for. Pay attention on if that program is accredited because that's important. Um, look for diversity. Look for professors that look like you. Look for students that look like you. If your student body represents you or if it doesn't, um, pay attention to all of that when applying to grad school. But yeah, so there will definitely be another video coming up related to this topic. Let me know if you guys are interested. But before this video ends, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe because you're going to want to see the face again, like I said earlier. And that's it. I'll see you guys next time.